graduates, their families and friends, I welcome you to the North Central State College 2017 Spring Commencement. Welcome to our guests online, where ceremonies are being simultaneously broadcast to the internet. I ask that you all now remain standing for the invocation to be delivered by Reverend Daniel L. Dickman of Peace Fellowship Church in Mansfield. Won't you join me in a spirit of prayer? So loving God, we ask that you once again send your spirit upon all of us that are gathered here. In a special way upon these students as they prepare to receive these diplomas and their degrees. Open their minds and their hearts to understand the great gift that they have for our community. We ask your spirit to be upon the faculty, staff, and administration of NC State College. We thank you, Lord, for their wisdom and guidance as they have educated these students. A special thanks, Lord, we give to their parents, their spouses, their families and friends. Bless them abundantly for supporting them and being with them during this journey. Most importantly, Lord, may we know the gifts that we've been given and may we share those gifts with others. So bless us as we continue this celebration. In your name. We pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend, for those words of inspiration. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dory Diab, President of North Central State College. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening. We're certainly very thankful for a pleasant weather for a great event. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty and staff of North Central State College, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for 2017 and the 55th commencement ceremony for our institution. Tonight is a momentous occasion for we are here to recognize, honor, and celebrate the accomplishment of each student in his class and mark the new opportunities for progression in his or her respective career path. Commencement is special because it recognizes each of you 
the graduate for the completion of a significant goal, which required a high level of hard work, commitment, and personal dedication. Graduation marked the end of months of study, of struggle, and of sacrifice. Congratulations for crossing the finish line of this marathon. But you, the graduates, are not the only one who have sacrificed so you can be here tonight. I would like to take a moment to recognize very important people who have helped you make tonight possible. With the parents, spouses, children, grandparents, relatives, and friends of tonight's graduates, please stand. Thank you for our caring and supportive people. Graduation is also known as commencement. With tonight's graduation, each of you will begin a new phase in your life, and one I hope you will jumpstart with as much energy, faith, and dedication. Learn to have faith in yourself and all that you have learned. You are also capable of learning much more. Please continue your education, start another journey in your life, overstep your bounds, stretch your abilities, and push your limits. When you do that, you will make mistakes, and that's acceptable, because only those who work make them, and mistakes are common to achievers and are nothing but learning opportunities. And as the saying goes, our greatest glory is not in ever falling, but in rising every time we fall. You'll also meet many challenges, for life is full of them. I ask you to have the determination and endurance to work as hard to go over these obstacles, duck to avoid them, go around them, or go through them when you need to. Napoleon Hill said, persistence to the character of a person is that of carbon to steel. A small amount will go a long way. So never, ever quit. And as the poem goes, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you ever quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint in the of the clouds of doubt. So stick to the fight, when your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Many of you are the first in your family to graduate from college. You now have the responsibility to press that enthusiasm on. Pass it on to your family, to your friends and neighbors, and ask them to start college as early as possible. Tell them to take advantage of dual enrollment, known as College Credit Plus, and finish high school and college credits at the same time, tuition Three. Tell them how they can continue at North Central State College as a tuition freedom scholar, where you can finish the associate degree tuition free if you finish at least six dual credits at the high school, maintain a 2.5 GPA, and go full time at North Central State College. There is no better way to reduce and eliminate the need for loans and debt. Since 2010 alone, we have served 4,515 unique high school students through some form of early college. These students have earned around 63,000 credit hours and saved close to $9 million over the past six years in tuition cost alone. Even better, higher educational attainment provides for jobs, better jobs, a better standard of living, a better quality of life, with less dependence on social services and more engaged citizen for a stronger democracy and a better society. So go ahead and succeed. We are very proud of you and thank you. I'd like to take a moment at this time to recognize another very special group of people present today. With our military veterans, wherever you are seated, Please stand to be recognized.
Thank you all for your service to this land of the free and home of the brave. It's now my pleasure to introduce our Board of Trustees, our elected officials, and the Chair of our Board. One of the greatest strengths of North Central State College is that it is directed by a legislatively empowered local policy-making Board of Trustees. The College is extremely first fortunate to be served by a governing board consisting of members who give it freely of their time and expertise and are generally committed to representing the college ownership and promoting the advancement and excellence of the college. It's my pleasure to introduce them to you now. I will ask those present to stand as I call their name and to remain standing and all have been introduced and then ask the audience to rec recognize them for their dedicated service to our college and the communities they serve from Richland, Ashland, and Crawford counties. Ms. Elizabeth Morando, Board Chair. Ms. Pamela Mowry, Board Vice Chair. Mr. Matthew Smith, Board Secretary. Mr. Mark Masters. Mr. Roger Miller. Dr. Dwight Michaelfresh. Ms. Linda Nelson. Ms. Janet Pry, And Mr. Steve Stone. Please join me in recognizing our Board of Trustees. I'd like to take a moment to recognize public officials joining us this evening. Our commencement speaker, Larry Abhoff, President of the Senate representing Ashland, Holmes, Medina, and Richland counties. Representative Mark Romanchuk, Chair of the House Economic and Workforce Development Committee representing Richland County. And Commissioner Melon John of the Richland County Board of Commissioners. Thank you for being with us this evening. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Chair of our Board of Trustees, Ms. Elizabeth Miranda. It's my great pleasure to share in the celebration of the 2017 commencement exercise representing the North Central State College Board of Trustees. This is a very special occasion for you and your families, and it recognizes each of you for the completion of a significant role in your education. You're about to receive the title of graduate, and in that you've demonstrated a conscious choice to make an investment in yourself and to enrich your life through higher education. Your achievement is the ultimate realization of the mission of NC State, which exists for the citizens of its service region to attain the knowledge and skills to succeed in their chosen path of learning, work, or enrichment. By virtue of your crossing this stage tonight, you bring to fruition our commitment to investing in you and in the communities we serve. Whatever next steps you have planned in your life journey, it's a given that you'll experience ups and downs. I hope that your successes, like tonight, vastly outweigh your challenges. But when difficulties do arise, I hope you'll remember the courage that it took for you to take the first step through the doors of the admissions office. I hope that you'll remember the strength and the perseverance that it took for you to push through and earn the degree that you'll receive tonight. I hope you'll recall the pride of accomplishment that fills you right now. All of those things are inside each of you, and you've proven it to every person in this room. In the immortal words of the late, great Walt Disney, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. On behalf of the North Central State College Board of Trustees, I congratulate you all on pursuing and achieving your dream of graduation, and I offer you our very best wishes for a successful future. Larry Alphoff serves as president of the Ohio Senate for the 132nd General Assembly. President Alphoff proudly represents the people of the 22nd Senate District, which includes Medina, Ashland, and Richland counties, as well as portions of Holmes County. He is focused on improving Ohio's economy and has been a staunch advocate of fiscal responsibility. 
smaller and more efficient government, and lower taxes. As a member of the Senate, Abhoff has sponsored legislation covering a wide range of issues, including education, civil and criminal law, election administration, and taxation. He has been described by newspapers as someone who has earned a reputation as a lawmaker with a willingness to work across party lines. Prior to his election as president of the Senate, Abhoff served as both president pro tempore, the chamber's number two position, and as majority whip. President Abhoff chairs the Rules and Reference Committee, the Joint Legislative Ethics Committee, and the Legislative Service Commission. He has received numerous honors in recognition of his work, including several Legislator of the Year awards. He was also named Guardian of Small Business by the National Federation of Independent Business in recognition of his efforts to improve Ohio's economy.